Hey folks, it's Mr. Byers and Miss Mueller again. So we're moving on to the features for the organ test. Starting up here, we have the salivary gland, or the parotid salivary. Then let's move here. We have the thyroid gland, the larynx. Back here, we have the esophagus. Here's your trachea. We talked about those rings of hyaline cartilage. Here is our vagus nerve. Down here, we could find a brachial plexus. If we move even lower, we have the right and left lung. So with the lungs, we have those outer coverings, the pleura. And so if we're gonna test you for the visceral pleura, we could put the pin sort of through that covering. If we're just gonna test for the lung, we'll just put the pin like that. If we're testing for the parietal pleura, we could just use the covering of the chest plate. Notice how we removed that. So this covering here, we could just stick the pin straight in that. A little lower, we have the heart. Um, on our cats, we would have seen the uh, pericardium surrounding the heart. This one doesn't have it, but if we have a pin through any type of covering on the heart, that would be the pericardium or a pin directly in the heart. Obviously, we want heart. This has already been dissected, but you can look in your lab manual on page 60 and see there might be a large structure covering this. That would be the thymus, but we had to remove those, obviously, to dissect further. Uh, let's see what else. Moving down here above the diaphragm, we see the phrenic nerves right and left. They get dissected and cut pretty easily, so there's one. There's the other, I don't know if you can see that there. I know on this cat over here, you can see it real well right there. If you're able to zoom in. So the phrenic nerves.